Tonya is one of many who is an Afro-Mexican woman, Afro-Mexican person who helped contribute to the cultural and historical richness that is Mexico. So Mexico actually has a deep and rich Black history. A lot of people don't know that and when people were being trafficked and enslaved around the world, that people ended up in Mexico, as well as people escaping enslavement from the United States moved into Mexico. And so there are a lot of amazing Afro-Mexican people. And one of those people is this Afro-Mexican singer called Doña La Negra. She was born Antonia del Carmen Peregrino Alvarez on November 2nd, 1912 in Vera Veracruz, Mexico. And she is known for her singing and acting. And although she wasn't like a trained performer, it's said that she always sang as a child, as a teenager, and obviously as an adult. And a chance encounter with Agustin Lara would prove to be the springboard into her singing and acting career. Agustin Lara is a super notable Mexican composer and interpreter of songs and boleros. And this man wrote more than 700 songs during his career. And he literally traveled all around the world doing this work. And Tonya, when he met him, um, well, before Tonya met him, Tonya would essentially do what we today call covers of some of his songs. Lara heard one of these covers that Tonya did and was blown away by her voice and performance. And soon the two of them started working together. Lara has gone on record to refer to Tonya as his greatest muse. And although he like loved the way that she would do these covers of his songs, he really wanted her to do original music. And so he would write original music specifically for her voice. And those songs are known as boleros. Tonya worked um, super, super hard throughout her entire career. And from 19, from the 1930s to the 1950s, she was really focused on performing and making records and performing on radio shows. But she also somehow found the time to perform in other 20 films. And some of these films are like Mexican cult classic films or, you know, films that you will find on like Mexican films you should know list. Uh, one of those include Conga Roja, and the other one is Aguila y Sol. Tonya passed away on November 19th, 1982, but her life and her legacy and the impact that she had in Mexico was clearly still felt and continues to be felt today. In 1995, the Mexican Postal Service included her in their Legends of Radio stamp series for her numerous radio and bolero hits. 1993, a Mexican film director made a documentary about her life for television. And this documentary include interviews with her husband and several other people that knew her. And most recently in 2020, there was a documentary made about her life as well. Tonya is one of many who is an Afro-Mexican woman, Afro-Mexican person who helped contribute to the cultural and historical richness that is Mexico. And I'm really excited to share her story with you all. Let me know if there are any other Afro-Mexican artists or history makers that I should do a video on.